All right, we are live. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully we are all having a nice, good Monday. Um, I have a great, great um, couple of people on here. And so I was just getting set up. And they are from 1701 Homes. And it is Todd and Todd Albright and Brian Puka. I uh, and I'm probably a butcher that last name. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so we are here. This is uh, real estate talk with Randy Steadwell. As you can see, uh, we go here live. Well, now it's every other Monday uh, at 8 p.m. We're staying consistent. We're being out there, and we're going to bring uh, new people on every single podcast to interview talking about real estate uh we brought on lenders we brought on uh you know wholesalers we brought on fixing flippers we brought on anything to do with real estate we're talking all, real, all about real estate here in the chat go ahead leave your comments uh if you have any questions ask them we will answer them live while we're here i will integrate it into what we're talking about so try to keep it to what we're talking about and uh, without further ado, I'm going to bring up Todd and Brian. How are you guys doing today? Doing well. I like uh, I like Brian Kuka. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use that. He uh, he made an age joke the last time we were talking about some people. So, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use that Kuka in all kinds of ways. <laughs> I am sorry. Thanks. No, Brian, thanks, how, Randy. That was great. Just how, so do you, you how do you say your last name? Kunka or Kanka, either way. Kanka, okay. It's, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I, I like to my, drop the N every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, I, my my dyslexia, I, I blame you on that. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so with that being said, so what we'll do is um, kind of give you guys a brief, you know, beforehand. We start off with beginning, middle, and kind of like beginning where you're at now, then where you're at now. And what you plan on doing in the future now at any point in time here please let us know our audience how we can help you as well so so we can kind of go along with that journey with you um so with that being said why don't you you know so your guys's company name is 1701 homes okay and i know there's a special meaning to that but uh why don't we go into First off, how you guys met, what made you decide to go into real estate, and then what made you go into real estate together? I have known this uh, Kunka character for, gosh, probably over a, over a decade or so. And uh, he and I both kind of had the privilege to, to lead Dan Gilbert companies. Brian was part of the uh, Bisnam U, which is a Kind of a university mm -hmm. that Dan created for entrepreneurs. Very, very okay. cool. And uh, Brian was leading a company there, and I was uh, I was able to lead a company called Quizzle uh, it, with inside the Quicken Loans family of companies for a while. So uh, Brian did. Uh, I almost called it picket fence, right? Uh, picket report. report. Picket okay. report. And and uh, he 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 did that for a while, and then came over uh, to join us for Quizzle. Ran the biz dev team within Quizzle for a long time. And we were we were on a similar track with Credit Karma. And we, we gave out free credit reports and then used that data to help people make financial decisions. A lot of those decisions were revolving around some of the products within Quicken Loans and beyond. So okay. that was fun. Did that for a little over a decade. Brian was a huge part of that. Uh, we sold in 2015 to a company called Bankrate.com, mm -hmm. who then a couple of years later sold to Red Ventures and uh brian was kind of sneaking away near the end and he kind of left first and uh started doing some real estate which i plugged into uh okay. just from an investment standpoint at first and then uh he was having way too much fun so i decided <laughs> to come join him buy in and fixing up houses and flipping and all that good stuff okay the, so uh, the the narrative is always it's always <laughs> nicer how you like couch it when i when i snuck away I snuck away because I was let go uh, from bankrate. <laughs> so, 
So okay. Well, it, 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 hang hang on though. In all fairness to Brian, they were moving everybody out to New York and uh, in North Carolina, which I think Sarah was almost ready to go to North Carolina. By the way, so. Uh, and, and, and by the way, as, as Brian was sneaking out, they were coming looking for some incredible stuff that he had built along the way to borrow and take for the new company. So, uh, okay. Don't let them sell themselves short. <laughs> the way I see it is, is even if they let you go, it's still, they, they may have closed that door, but it opened up a brand new one for you. So, uh, no, yeah. Todd and myself, we've, we've just always been super entrepreneurial with, with everything that we've done, we've always kind of approached business uh, and we just try to have a lot of fun and we just love building things. So part of the reason why he and I get along so well is, you know, we definitely have, um, we view the world very similarly. Uh, we we learned, we spent over a decade inside of Quicken Loans and you learn a lot about um, culture uh, inside of mm -hmm. Quicken Loans. Like they, you know, for, you know, good, bad, or ugly inside of Quicken um, or Rocket Mortgage now. Um, you know, like a lot of people kind of say the same thing. They're like, oh, you know, they, they work you hard there. Well, you know, they tell you they're going to work you hard. And then everybody's yep. just kind of like surprised by this. Like, oh my gosh, they want you to work nights. They want you to work weekends. But one of the things that Dan Gilbert did an amazing job of uh, and kind of the leadership is they had, you know, this, you know, thing called isms, which is basically company philosophies. And they're brilliant, you know, they're, they're fantastic. Uh, and they spend so much time, effort and energy on company culture. And with Todd and myself spending 10 years inside of Quicken Loans or Rocket um, and really like seeing what it means to really walk the talk uh, for company mm -hmm. culture. Uh, I think that's where he and I like became very quickly aligned. Like we, we naturally, we're both naturally big thinkers um mm -hmm. and when you take a combination of like hey we we both have a love of like real estate technology you know mortgage credit that type of stuff everything kind of surrounding the house uh yeah. we think big and we say share the same like cultural uh values um you know that's a good recipe and so that's most where so so how did you guys keep from most people have when they partner up they have issues on um, okay it works you got the honeymoon phase okay <laughs> and uh, i like to say that because it's like a it's a basically a partnership is a marriage you know um and so you got that honeymoon phase where you both work and you're both cranking it out but then every now and then you you come across where one's not doing as much or one feels like they're 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 picking up basically doing everything and the other ones concentrating on other things and things like that how did you guys i don't want to say avoid that because i don't know if you had that issue um but i guess avoid that or or resolve that if you <clears throat> did have that issue it's awkward right now randy because we totally have that issue <laughs> and we exactly. really haven't talked right about now. it and uh, I've just been carrying Brian. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> if, anything, if anything, it's probably the reverse. Brian's been absolutely phenomenal. You know, no, I'll, I'll say we, we, we've known each other, you know, for so long. I think we knew pretty well what we were getting into. We knew each other's shortcomings and strengths and all that kind of stuff. And it's funny, some of our, some of our shortcomings are similar. And a lot okay. of our strengths are similar, too. We're actually probably too similar to be in business together. We, we, we probably don't do enough yin and yang. Um, and we're both kind of visionaries and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and, and but, uh, but at the same time, we've done, I think a really good job. We've got an amazing team. And so we found people that kind of fill those gaps and who are absolutely amazing and, and fill some of our shortcomings. And we're both pretty aware of, of, you know, where, where we're decent and where we're not. And, we're pretty honest with each other. You know, Brian okay. said we like to have fun. I mean, we, we, in this business, if you can't, you know, if you don't like challenges and you don't like to laugh and, 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 and at the ridiculousness of, of yeah. every single day, uh, you're not going to last long in this business. So we, we think it's pretty funny. We have a good time as a team. Uh, you know, even when we're in the thick of it and your houses are going sideways, uh, we're still able to laugh and, and 
and have a good time and figure things out. I mean, you got a bunch of, yep. as long as you got a bunch of people that are dead set on figuring it out, whatever happens and not yeah. focusing on the negative, but just, you know, Hey, okay, now we know, you know, yep. let's go and let's fix it. That's kind of fun. If you, you know, we've both been sports guys and been on teams. So that's kind of what okay. you do on a team. You know, you get some adversity and you band together and that's usually the team that wins. So we've been really so fortunate to find great people. So in the beginning, did you guys hatch out and say, hey, I'm going to do this part, you're going to do this, and kind of like, okay, I'm going to be, how should I say, the, the coach of this side of the business of handling this, you're going to be the coach of this, and then, you know, kind of advise each other, as, you know, give advice, or did you just kind of like let it flow? Yeah, I don't think we did that, Todd. I think... Uh... You know, the, the one of the things that that we kind of talk about um, early and often is handcrafting the business and handcrafting mm -hmm. the business is really like, you know, when you're when you're doing something new, when you're doing the flipping business, like you need to touch it, you need to feel it, you need to get involved with it. Um, you, you need to do certain things to understand like, yeah, you know, like sometimes you clean a filthy house to understand what you're actually asking of your cleaners sometimes. Mm -hmm you know like you you just do a bunch of this stuff to like really like understand what you're up against and as todd and i like started this business um had a third partner and you know the third partner had the background in the flipping and the mm -hmm. in the real estate side so todd and i were just here um you know from the scalability side like how do we scale how do we build process and procedure and that type of stuff so we started learning that way and we both kind of jumped in um where needed um third partner was not a partner person um so at the end of the day he was kind of more of a lone wolf mm -hmm. uh, so after you know less than a year we decided to kind of separate and we kept moving and at that point that's when we started kind of dividing and conquering a little bit more. Um, Todd, Todd kind of handled like more of the CFO type role. Uh, I okay. kind of did more of the project, like, you know, like construction type stuff and finding some houses and, and over project the course, coordination. Type yeah, stuff. We, we had, we had a project manager that was not the right fit. Mm. Um, you know, wasn't, you know, we look for servant leaders and, yep. and it just wasn't, you know, wasn't, wasn't the right fit for one reason or another. So, um, so when that happened, it started like the need of the business started becoming more and more clear and yep. he was kind of handling some of the money stuff. Um, so he kind of went deeper there, uh, mm -hmm. and you know, I'm super grateful he did because it, the money stuff is neither of our like passions uh, <laughs> yeah but when you're talking about the flipping business i mean it's it's a third of the business i mean the way you break it down if you got houses you got money you got crews like yep. a, a third a third a third like you need to spend all of your time you know equally on those on those things and if you are off on one of them then it just kind of really throws stuff off so um so yeah so over the course of time when there was a need like todd mm -hmm. jumped in and you know he's still he's still handling that stuff focusing on that to this day um you know probably much to his chagrin but he's done a fantastic mm -hmm. job jumping in and and kind of doing that but now as we've as we've kind of grown the business we have mm -hmm. a flipping business a wholesale business a short-term rental and a long-term rental business now what's happened is he and i have kind of divided and conquered in that way and he's focused mm -hmm. more on um short-term rental and wholesale and i've kind of focused on our long-term rental with detroit and our flipping uh, mm -hmm. but flipping is still the main you know it, it's the dog everything else is kind of the tail right now mm -hmm. so we all come together for the flipping business as well so so over That's time awesome. it's become a lot more clear on how so, that so what did you start off what did you guys start off doing obviously you didn't say all right we're gonna do all three and head at it so how did you break into it? Did you break into it with the wholesaling, the flipping? Um, like, how did you, like, what was your guys's, I want to say, what was your guys' first deal like? I don't know if you remember back then, because I'm sure it was a long yeah. time ago. So <laughs> it, it, it was only five years ago. We we bought it yeah. uh, from a wholesaler, bought it from Ron Wallraven, house in Southfield. 
Um, and first deal is, I don't know, just kind of a small house, mm -hmm. uh, kind of, kind of no big deal. Uh, at that time, you know, Todd and I were not like, we were kind of hands-on from the standpoint of like, I don't know. How would, how would you describe that Todd at, at that point? 